estate agents, welcome to another episode of Moe's Marketing Minute, the podcast that takes the mystery out of marketing for today's real estate agent. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about how to convert those old high school buddies on Facebook into real tangible leads. Today's topic actually comes from a listener write-in from McComey Hill in Calaveras County, California. Johnny writes, hey Mo, thanks for putting out the podcast. I was wondering how the younger millennial agents are getting so much business from Facebook, especially because when I asked one of them, their only response was that it wasn't costing them a penny. Honestly, Johnny, there are a hundred different ways to answer this question, and I'm not even entirely sure how your friends in your office are doing it if they're not willing to share their secrets with you. But what I can do is share with you one thing that's been extremely successful in the brokerages that I've worked in. Whenever I give this advice, it reminds me of the book Millionaire Real Estate Agent. In there, the author writes about letting people know that you are, in fact, a real estate agent. And that sounds really obvious, but most times it is not. To use the example that he gives in the book, if your mom goes ahead and uses another real estate agent other than yourself, it's nobody's fault but yours. One of the biggest mistakes that I see real estate agents doing is that they assume that just because they are a real estate agent, their loved ones and friends know that they are a real estate agent and will automatically use them. People are so busy in their own lives that most often this isn't the case. And more often than not, the person who winds up winning those friends and family members over as clients is the one who's loudest about themselves being an agent. The concern that always follows, be it valid, is that if you are constantly in everyone's face about being a real estate agent, that you will actually wind up alienating them. And in my experience, this isn't true if you approach that conversation from the standpoint of building a relationship or fortifying the relationship that already exists. So here is how you bridge that gap, and it's really simple. Over the next three months, I want you to take 10 contacts on your Facebook a day and just send them a private message saying, hey, it's been a long time since we've talked, and I just wanted to let you know that I've got my real estate license, and I'd love to help you if you need any help. Johnny, quite simply put, this is the most tried and true method of lead generation in the real estate industry, simply building relationships. Facebook is just a tool to build those relationships on, but it all comes back to fostering that relationship from the beginning. And that'll about do it for today's episode. Thanks so much, Johnny, for writing in. And if you are an agent out there who has a marketing question, please feel free to send us any questions you may have at abornstudios at gmail.com. One more time, that's abornstudios, A-B-O-R-N-S-T-U-D-I-O-S at gmail.com. As always, I'll see you next week, and thanks for listening. This has been Moe's Marketing Minute, brought to you by A-Born Homes.